Ladies and gentlemen, from the Oval Office, the President of the United States. Good afternoon. I have been told that negotiations in London have broke down. The nations of Serbia and the Montenegro have declined to negotiate due to the ethnic cleansing of Muslims. We are aware of what's going on. The attack of a uh, Muslim funeral just outside of Shregranisa. And we in the United States of America cannot tolerate, tolerate it. To this end, I have spoken to, to Secretary of State Warren Christopher and the U.S. Special Envoy Richard Holbrook. The United States is sitting out next week's negotiations in Stockholm, Sweden and will return on the 26th of July as negotiations happen in Boston, Massachusetts. Another piece of, of, um, of news. This morning, after I was done with my national security meeting about Bosnia, I received a phone call from my attorney. The judge has declined any further motions to dismiss and the Paula Jones case will proceed to court. I am open for three to five questions. Make it brief. Mr. President, Norma Sanders, Society Page, how are you, Mr. Clinton, Mrs. Clinton, handling the allegations regarding uh, Paula Jones? Mrs. Clinton knows as well as I do, that those allegations are false. So you categorically deny that you ever sexually harassed Paula, uh, Paula Jones? Let me try this one more time. I did not sexually harass Paula Jones. I never asked anybody to lie. I never asked anybody to cover anything up. And thus these allegations are, are false. Uh, next. My last Mr. President, NPR. My question to you is this. Why is the U.S. sitting back regarding these no negotiations when, you played such, when this country has played such a big role? We made a judgment call that some of the other countries like Great Britain and Luxembourg and Germany and Switzerland, our Western allies, can come up with an amicable situation without us. Uh, yes, sir. George over there from the Black Carter Show. Wouldn't this be proven that so there's some hypocrisy in your involvement in the... Uh, Bosnian conflict? No hypocrisy. And I might I say that was a very arrogant question to ask of you. One more question, and that's it. Uh, yes, sir. Orenthal Jones, sir, from the Andrew House Show. My question to you is this. It's been a lot of emphasis on your social policy and all of this. What about the bread and butter economic issues that you and your administration seems to be avoiding? We are not avoiding it. Regardless of some, what some little preempt uh, appointee might be saying. We are not avoiding it. There's just certain legislation we want passed before the end of the year. That is just how we feel, and that's what we're going on. Now with that, I want to get back to work for the American people. Thank you.